So the weapon we are taking a look at is the Sword of Mylos. So the first secret feature about this is with your standard greatsword, if you do your right trigger attack, it slams it into the ground. If you charge it up, it slams it into the ground. With the Sword of Mylos, and I believe this only happens with one other weapon in the entire game, if you just do a right trigger, it's a very quick sort of like upward slash. If you hold it, you drag the weapon through the ground and then do an upward slash. And if you actually use it against an enemy, 738 damage is very, very good. Secret feature number two with the Sword of Mylos is if I don't get absolutely destroyed, the Ash of War for this weapon, Shriek of Mylos, is going to debuff enemies, but it also staggers them. So it's going to break their attack when you pull it off. It is quite expensive for an Ash of War, but you are applying a debuff, so it's going to lower the enemy's resistances and defenses. You'll see there, as I said, it is fairly expensive. Shriek of My Loss will cost you 30 FP to pull off. But the thing is, with this, it doesn't just debuff the enemies. Secret feature number three is that it also buffs you, so that you deal a greater damage. If I can pull this off successfully, if I do a jump in attack, and he doesn't block it, round two. If I do a jump in attack against this enemy, I deal 570 damage. Yes, I've had to run that same clip like three times. Whereas, if I use the Ash of War or the weapon skill, you'll see a red aura around my character, and if I do a jump in attack, that 570 goes to 629. So it's like basically a 10% increase to your damage whilst you have this red glowing aura. And secret feature number four, whilst you're buffed and you're dealing extra damage with this weapon, if we have a look at the standard heavy attack again, it does the, like, drag it along through the ground and an upward slash. If I buff myself up and then I do it, it then does a triple hit in quick succession and on the fourth one you get this massive ground slam that you jump up and you smash the floor with so it changes the move set when you buff yourself and you're going to be dealing extra damage it's going to be incredible and you'll see right there just how much damage this really does it's incredible when you've buffed yourself up and you pull off a heavy attack. Secret feature number five is I would also run this weapon in my offhand. And I'm just about to show you exactly why I would. One thing this is going to do is if I just quickly use Wave of Gold, hopefully I don't kill all the enemies here, you'll see this blue sort of orb that comes back. If you watch my FP bar when I use Wave of Gold... You can see the FP building back up. Even having the Sword of My Loss in your offhand, every single enemy kill is going to give you 5 FP back. And secret feature number 6 is the fact that this is a bleed-based weapon as well. You'll see that in the attribute scaling, it doesn't scale with Arcane, so you can't go insane with the blood loss. But if you have a look at the passive effect, it causes blood loss buildup on a rating of 55. And to get your hands on the Sword of Mylos, you will have to start progression in the Dung Eater quest. There are plenty of guides out there to show you exactly what to do in order to get your hands on this. But basically, when you do get to the jail, like you have choices within this quest. You can just kill Dung Eater straight away. You can get hold of his armor and the Sword of Mylos. You can kill him further in the quest and you can get your hands on the weapon. If you keep him alive and you complete the entire quest, you will get his spirit or his spirit summon, whatever you want to call it. And that is supposedly right now the most overpowered summon in the game or one of. So if you're interested in the weapon, you can kill Dung Eater really early in the quest. But as I said, six secret features, like all built into one weapon, is absolutely mental. The only thing is, it's a fantastic all-round greatsword. There are going to be much better options in the game, because this is a jack of all trades, it's a master of none. If you look at the attribute requirements, 15 strength and 19 dex, it doesn't require a lot at all. And that was a look at the Sword of Mylos in Elden Ring. 
If you did enjoy this video, leaving a like is appreciated. Sub to the channel, turn notifications on, check out the playlist, we have loads and loads of Elden Ring content on the channel. If you would like a quick and easy way to get to more content, then wait until the end screen starts playing and click on one of those videos. But that's it for this one, let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments, I will see you in the next video, I hope you guys enjoyed it.